Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is uh, using the uh, Dev Channel build that is Insiders. Um, we're going to look at what we know and what we have right now that we think is going to make it in 20H2. Of course, the uh, first thing to say is that 21H1 is soon to be released. Once again, a lot of people saying, why don't I have it? Because it's not released yet. It's going to be released in the next few weeks. It's on the release preview, which means it's close to be released for seekers that will look at through Windows Update. Then after that, this year, we're getting 21H2. This is the one that we are be focusing on a lot because that's the one that has and will have a lot of new changes and features. There's something called Sun Valley that's coming up. It means that even though we don't see much changes right away now, there will be a lot of changes in the user interface of Windows 10, and hopefully for the better. It's supposed to be more consistent throughout the system. That is going to be a welcome change. What do we have right now that we can see that probably is part of 21H2? Well, the first is a new little thing. On the bottom right here, you see there's my, I have the weather. And this is part of a new panel that's called News in Interest. This panel is now being tweaked and you can manage the interest and the stuff you want to see. And of course, if you don't want to see it, there is a um, setting in the, in the uh, taskbar when you right click for News in Interest where you can show just an icon, show an icon in text or turn it off completely if you don't want it. So that is uh, something that you'll be able to turn off if you don't want it. Personally, the only thing I like about it is to have constantly the weather in my taskbar, which I do find kind of interesting. As for the rest, it's a panel that you can customize with news and uh, interests of your own, depending on what you like. And each panel you can actually go through and you say, well, you know, what is something that I don't want? You can click on it, say not interested in this story or the source. And if you refresh your feed, you will have other things. And as, as you customize this, you will have things, maybe more things you want to see, less things that are not interesting uh, for you. Is it interesting for me? Uh, f I don't know. I, you know. I still tend to think that the news that I'll be looking at will be much more to my regular news sources than going to this panel. Uh, for news and interest. The uh, other thing of change that we can see is that, first of all, there's animations. So I don't know if you can see them here, but when you close and open windows, they seem to kind of expand to full screen. Or uh, then when you close them, they kind of collapse. So there's a, a little bit of animation. So this is the start of what it's going to actually be like with Windows 10 uh, 21 H2 with some of the changes. Um, in here, of course, the File Explorer, which is interesting because these are new icons right now. So you'll have something that will be changing here. All the icons in the File Explorer are changing videos, pictures, music, and download. There, I think there needs to be a little more tweaking of this. Maybe they should uh, still improve a little more on it. But anyways, we'll see if, you know, what we have now is not necessarily what's going to make it 221H2 because there could be changes. We're still six months away, uh, if not more, from this new version. So there's time to change and, and do new things. Apart from that, there are a few settings and a few things that are changing in the settings panel. First of all, when you look at the settings panel, there are new icons that replace older icons. So there's a few things like system has a new icon account. Uh, some are modified just slightly. Accessibility. Uh, this is uh, something that's interesting because it was ease of access. They changed it to accessibility. The icon is different also. Actually, accessibility, and someone has uh, told me that, and it's true. Uh, you know, before ease of access, it was called accessibility. 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 And um, I guess maybe they thought, you know what, the older name was better. I don't know. So there are a few things that are going to be different. Uh, some of you might see this already because some people do see it, but it should be prevalent in the next version of Windows 10 21 H2. And it's that top information bar here that you have, the header, 
which has an, uh, icons for OneDrive, Windows Update, Rewards, and apparently it's going to be four uh, icons. And there's a variation of this. Not everybody has the same thing at the top uh, for viewing the information here. But that's, uh, you know, the way it is. And we'll, uh, we'll, there's going to be more tweaking of that for sure. There are a few settings that are slowly being changed. So, for example, in device now have a camera tab where you can actually add uh, or tweak cameras. And, you know, often you have moments where your camera, where you do a Zoom meeting or you do something and it's not doesn't look right. Uh, and, of course, your camera itself might have settings for that. But you'll be able in a very quick way here to go to camera change the, the the brightness the background and so on and depending on the camera you have some will have a lot more features that you can tweak here that will be kind of the default that your camera has when you turn it on with whatever app you're going to use it with so there's a few little things like that that are changing over time uh, they are tweaking other functionalities of course in the system the hdr uh, high dynamic range displays will have more uh, and easier tweaking also at the same time. Uh, in you know, inbox apps, what are inbox apps? These are the apps that actually come with Windows when you install it. So if you do a clean install, um, some of them that were before in the um, you know part of Windows are now going to come from the, the store. Uh, an example of that, paint. Uh, paint, which was part of Windows, is now going to be a Microsoft Store app that you can download. Uh, it is going to be part of the system, but it makes it easier to actually be able to tweak these apps. So these are now going to come through the Microsoft Store uh, instead of uh, being updated with Windows because the only way to update it was to update Windows. Now, there are also a few things that are coming that should be uh, taking full effect because right now we don't see a lot of stuff done with that. But um, when you look at your updates, there's something that is called um, Windows uh, Feature Experience Packs that are kind of interesting. Uh, these are to tweak and update um, whatever apps they want and things they want to update in the system. So that's going to be something to look at. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we'll have feature experience packs that are going to download through Windows Update from time to time. And uh, we'll see what's going to really be in here uh, over time. These are promising us to have a lot more um, you know, updates of parts of apps and Windows and systems without having to always have a full Windows update coming through, all in hopefully having a, more of a seamless Windows update in the future. That's something that we're going to check out. So these are some of the things that we see right now. Uh, more to come, of course, because you know even the Start menu and uh, uh, Action Center, all of that needs or will be tweaked and changed. So that means there's going to be a lot more coming up. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what is uh, in there as time goes by. So from time to time, I'll you know update the video maybe once a month, month and a half, depending on the amount of new features we could see that will uh, help us, of course, uh, in knowing maybe what is coming up in uh, 21H2. Not there yet, but we already have the uh, you know rounded windows rather than uh, rather square windows that we have now. All sorts of things like that. I've been shown, uh, of course, change in the start menu have been shown. We still don't have any real changes in that start menu right now. And uh, one last thing is uh, one of the features that might be changing, of course, is we always had the uh, Windows administrative tools, which is now the Windows tools, uh, which will actually have, um, you know, all the tools that required here in the panel that... A lot of people have been saying, well, it's like a control panel. Yeah, but over time, this is going to change. The look of it is going to change. The feel of it is going to change. Uh, and integrated with the next version of Windows, it seems that this is going to be part of it also. Windows Terminal is going to be part of what Windows 10 21H2 will have by default. So there's all sorts of little things like that that are going to be interesting to look at. So... Um, 
you know, some interesting changes, some uh, minor changes right now, but uh, more to come, and it's going to be interesting to see the evolution of what happens here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.